Hey everyone, it's Scarlet at Build Across, and today I'm going to show you how I paint this Christmas truck paint kit. First, I'm going to go in with my white that's provided, and I'm going to paint the fur on Santa Claus's hat. All of these paint kits include a paint by line cutout of your choice, um, assorted paints that I have chosen for the specific project, um, a pack of 10 really nice brushes, and um, a sharpie brush stroke marker and a uh, little packet explaining exactly what to do um, and numbering out the colors. I've gone in and I have painted the reindeer in the chocolate brown that's provided and I'm also going to use the tan color provided to paint his horns, um, the inside of his ears, and uh, Santa's face. Next, I'm going to go in with this red that's provided, and I'm going to paint his Santa hat and also Rudolph's nose. I'm also going to use that red color to paint the truck. And this red color has really great coverage, so I'll only be using one coat uh, for this. Uh, specific step. Of course, if you guys have any questions, make sure to write them below in the comments or send us a message. We'll be happy to get back with you. I'm using the gray that's provided now for the bumper and also uh, the rear view mirrors and the back glass. Of course, don't worry too much if you get outside the lines a little bit because we will be going in and outlining everything later and that will clean up any mistakes that you may have made. Next, I'm going to go in with the black that's provided and I'm going to paint the tires and also Santa's mittens. And after that, I'll be done base coating and so I will allow everything to dry completely before um, stepping into um, my next um, step. I'm going to go in now with my Sharpie brush stroke marker um, and I'm going to begin to outline everything. So this step that I'm doing, um, all the lines are etched into this cutout already of course because it is a paint by line product. Um, so I'm able to just kind of use my marker in those grooves that will act as a guideline. Uh, this makes it super easy and it also makes my lines really clean and precise so it's super enjoyable because it comes out uh, pretty nice and it's very user friendly. Another thing that's nice about using these markers is that it pretty much dries on contact so you're able to kind of run your hand over it uh, pretty much immediately after um, using the marker and not have to worry about um, ruining anything. After I get done outlining, I'm going to go in with my number four brush provided and some white paint and I'm going to highlight everything. Whenever I'm highlighting, I like to follow the natural curves of the cutout. Um, and I just kind of do it sporadically here and there and I love this to brighten up the product um, but of course if you don't feel comfortable with this step just skip it it'll look fine without it and that's it I really hope you guys enjoy this cutout and um, this little paint kit video make sure to let me know what you think and have a wonderful day